finding ourselves in this lifetime facing and dealing very difficult situations. Many of us are going through enormous pain. Many of us are living their lives um, in loneliness, in under a lot of pressure, with health issues. <coughs> it's not so simple when uh, the world around us is uh, all the time talking and talking and everyone are sharing their thoughts, their ideas, their fears, especially on the social media, that we can hear opinions from so many people from four wings of the universe and everyone is claiming to hold a certain level of knowledge and understanding. <coughs> and as well, in the same time, the world of uh, social media is showing and presenting to us lives that we can never achieve and false dreams on false purposes that are just um, tying us into the fake reality of physical world when it's all actually a distraction of the Yetzirah, the evil inclination to pull us away from the purpose and from the essence of our lives to connect ourselves to our souls. The way to connect ourselves to our souls is mainly through that amazing blessing that is called Hit Bodedut, an individual conversation with Hashem, talking to the Creator like you talk to your best friend, and opening your heart to Him, and talking to Him about those spiritual aspects of your life that are currently not being fulfilled, opening your heart and asking from Hashem that your prayers will be answered, and then to pray, really to ask and request those things that you need for them to happen, and to ask Hashem over and over, please Hashem, help me to have that, help me to achieve that. Let me understand those things that I still cannot comprehend. Let me see those things that I have not seen yet. Bring the redemption. Bring the great salvation to the world. This is something very, very important. It's a very precious prayer for every individual to ask for the redemption, to talk to Hashem like we talk to our best friends, to tell Hashem the truth from our hearts, to tell Him that we need Him to reveal the kindness and the unconditional love of this wonderful world in potential, and to remove the darkness, and to remove all the negativity, and to remove all the filth from this world, to bring the Messiah, the true Mashiach that we're hoping for, for Him to redeem us, for Him to save us, <clears throat> for Him to open the gates of faith for us all. And with that simple prayer that is called Hit Bodedut, individual prayer, we can open the gates of heaven to reveal the unconditional love of Hashem to His children. When we are all the time trapped in our fears and distracted from holy thoughts to negative thoughts, to our fears and to the stress of the daily um, obligations and offers of the Yetzara, of the evil inclination, that all the time try to grab our thoughts to focus on other things but Hashem, but the Creator. By that, He's taking our power away from us from achieving the spiritual success that is offered to us and actually served to us on a silver plate. Because, like that it's written on the Torah, that is the wisdom of the Creator, that with the Torah Hashem created the world. And on the Torah it says that 
it's not yeah. it's not across the sea it's not behind the mountains it's in your mouth and in your heart to keep and to do means that the work that needs to be done is not by crossing the ocean or climbing the highest mountains the work the work that needs to be done for the achievements that are desired by us is for us really to connect and to attach ourselves to the creator from the heart the heart is the inner channel that through it we can connect ourselves to Hashem and in what way we connect ourselves to Hashem through our hearts through Avodat Atfila, the work of prayer we need to pray to Hashem we need to talk to Hashem prayer is a conversation we need to talk and to talk and to talk and to talk to express our feelings, to open our hearts, to share our emotions, our thoughts, and to argue and to fight and to ask and to beg and to cry and even to tell jokes to Hashem, to be totally honest and open with Hashem and to do the best that we can, to open our minds, to open our hearts and to share our thoughts in prayer. That is the most powerful 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 tool that we have to connect and to attach ourselves to the most powerful source that we know that is Hashem himself with no middleman, with no people to guide us with no teachers with no tutors and magicians and rabbis to to stand between us to our salvation only Hashem Am Israel, the nation of Israel, are being called after their father Yaakov that got a blessing from Hashem to be named Israel. When you take the word Israel, that is the name of our nation, of our people, you can see two words very clearly written inside that name Yeshar El, Yud Shin Resh, and then Aleph, and then Lamed. Yeshar El straight to God. Yeshar is straight, El means God. And it's one of the names of Hashem that represents kindness. Yeshar El means straight to God that is the God of mercy, of kindness. The way to get to the kindness of Hashem is straight. Just be direct. Open your heart. Talk from the heart. And ask for your needs. And be open with your speeches, with your talks, with your simple conversations. And Hashem will answer all the prayers and all the requests that a person is talking from the heart. Like the verse is saying, Karov Hashem lechol korav, Hashem is close to everyone who calls Him, lechol asher vehemet, to everyone who will call Him with truth. Simple words of truth will be the most powerful tools for us to come closer to Him and to bring down the bounty that is waiting for each and every one of us. I bless you from the bottom of my heart to believe in yourselves, that your prayers are precious and important and don't let no information and no people's negative opinion break your spirit and break your self-esteem. You should know that you have a godly soul within and that soul is shining in light that does not shine in no one else's soul. Every individual is unique and special and beautiful and you must believe in your own inner beauty that that beauty shines, that that beauty is rising above all the obstacles and shades of this world. It's spiritual and it's godly and it was, is, and will always stay pure and holy and charming. And we should use that. And the main way to be known to it, to expose it, to find it, to be aware to it, to observe and find it, is through looking deep into ourselves 
and talking to the Creator like we talk to our best friends in honesty, being truthful and loyal and simple. And by that we will learn more and more about ourselves. And may, like we said before, all our prayers and requests will be answered in no time and will find true happiness within and will find a way how to spread that light among all our loved ones for everyone to rise and shine and to succeed and to prosper in all ways. Amen.